Welcome to the channel, Planning with Maserati. I am going to be doing a setup video of my Mickey Mouse planner. Uh, for 2021, it's going to be my everyday carry planner. So before I begin, I'd like to tell everybody welcome. Please subscribe, hit that post notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos. Please give this video a big thumbs up, leave a comment, and share the video. That'd be greatly appreciated. So with that being said, I'm going to take these covers off just the top one and put in Mickey Mouse. I mean Minnie Mouse. Um, I couldn't find a mini, uh, Mickey one like this. So I'm going to be using this one. I need to clean that up. So yeah. So let's take this off. I will keep this one because I like it for the pocket. I just hope... Sorry if it gets loud. I don't want it to break my disc as I'm doing this. I don't like these covers. I don't know why. I don't know why I bought it. I know it was on sale, but I see the new ones that they have are not like this, where they're hard plastic, and they're hard to get off discs. And I really, I'm not trying to damage either one of these things. That's a struggle right there. And then they hurt when you try to get them off. Look what they do to it. It damages it. So there's that one. And then let's take off the back one. I like this one because it says rejoice and stuff. I might use it on my other planner. I don't know. Because I like the face part of it. But I liked it the white with the gold for the Mickey Mouse. Okay, I'm just going for it. So that is the back cover, but it's going to change. I know it's a Mickey Mouse planner, but we're going with Minnie Mouse. Sorry, people. I just have to because she's so cute. I love the black on black. I'm liking it already. And it's a little bit shorter than the other cover, but that's okay because it gives it like uh, stability, stability, and then put in here. So what I need to do is get a cover for the mini Mouse one now, which I have spare covers. Okay, I'm already liking it. I need to get that little mark off, and then I keep making it more worse okay I definitely need to get that one off I need to find my alcohol pads because that will help oh wait I got something on my desk okay I have I just need a cotton swab and this will work I don't want to do a face mask okay a face mask oh my god I'm not ready it was on the side of me. Give me one second. If you spray a little alcohol on a cotton swab, it should come off. Please do not damage this planner, Maserati. So I'm just going to spray, but I'm going to do it on the side so it's not on my planner. I'm going to shake it a little bit just so that it's like not so wet so I want to do it here and on the back side I'm just gonna dry it and hopefully this does not damage it it's like really up on there you can see where it's really on there I hope this does not damage because I do not want this to damage it's better than what it was, I'll tell you that much. That one came off fine. Maybe just a little bit more. Do not try this at home unless it works. I don't want to be the blame for you. Yeah, so like I was saying, I don't want to be the blame for anyone's planner messing up. But I just want to have it where it works. Okay, so I can see just a little mark of it. But it's going away. You can see where it was at, but that's fine because now it looks 
more better and it's not sticking. Let's see. Yeah, you could kind of see where it was at, but that's fine. Cause look at, it's not sticky though. So that's my whole, whole problem was being sticky. Okay, so let's put that away. Cause whoo, that's scary. It must not be 100% alcohol. Oh, 63%. Now, if you have like cuts and stuff and you use the little alcohol pads, those work tremendously. Like you can get stuff off of there really quick and easy. But this is just 63%. Do I want to use the dividers? Probably not. What do you think? Because I have a lot of dividers in here. These are the monthly dividers. And I've shown you this setup plenty of times. I'm just adding on the new covers and some inserts in the back. So this is my everyday planner. So it's going to be six months of this planner. Let me show you the week. So you could use it for Mickey Mouse or you can use it for just your regular planner. It does come with stickers. It's an extension pack. And the stickers are right there. I don't know if you can see them. So in the back here is where I'm more concerned. Um, here starts the happy notes stuff. And what I want to do is, this is cute and all, and yeah, I'll be using it. Actually, I want to go in the back with it. So this is my sloth section, or toucan, sloth and toucan. So what I want to do is move this to a side, add this. This is the productivity extension pack, the everyday. You get 55 pieces, mainly because it's stickers, three dividers that I'm going to be adding, and then the productivity inserts. But I don't need the inserts, I just need the stickers. Well, I could actually use the inserts. So let's see. These are the stickers it comes with. Two sheets. How cute are those? Okay, so it comes with that. This, I gotta see where I'm gonna put it. I think I'm gonna just add it into the planner itself somehow. I don't know yet. But let's do this. I don't know how many I'll be adding, so I'm going to keep the plastic next to me. And the reason I have this planner, and it's not a planner, it was a notebook, and then I made it into a planner, is for the dividers. So it says chill vibe. I oh, no, no, no. I'm sorry. Be strong than your excuses. So this is the pack I'm looking for. The dashboard and the inserts. So I don't think I need this one, this one, and then this one. And somehow I ended up with all these dividers. Okay, so these are the ones I'm using out of here. That's the only thing I'm probably taking out of here. Most likely. Okay. So here we're going to add in our first divider, if I can find it. I may not even use these sheets because I have sheets already pulled. So this is our first one. Cute. We'll put today is a great day to learn something new. So this will be our first productivity sheets. I have not used them yet. And that's where this is going to go. So you have your first top three priorities to today's date. It says focus, self-care, reminders, and then whatever you want to put here. Today, and then on the back side, is the same. How cute are those? So we are going to take just a couple of these. We don't need all these. Not for this section. And then the next section... We're going to put Be Brave and Kind. This 
This may get chunky, I'm not gonna lie. So we're gonna move all of these. Um, and then the last divider is, oh here, make waves. Okay. So in here, I don't know what I'll be putting yet. So I'm just gonna set it up like I did the last one. Trying to see where I want each one to go. Because they are a set. It says shine bright. And it doesn't make sense in the color wise scheme for this. But I just want it to be functional. This back set is not going to be the Mickey Mouse. Again, this is only a six month Mickey Mouse planner. Okay, so let's see how chunky... I do want to get the expander, not the expander, but the um, metal disc for this so it turns neatly. This, I don't know where I'm going to put it because it's cute and I have the folder, but this is not going to fit. This is a whole sheet. And if I put those little snap-in tabs, it'll go like this and it'll hang out. So we may not be able to put that today. Ooh, I have an idea. Mickey Mouse is in the front, right? So we can move all of this. Oh, I do need to add two more things. I'm so excited and forgot to add. Okay. You know how I have the make your own covers through the Happy Planner? This should fit. And this can be my sticker holder. For all of your extension packs that come with stickers, you don't want to cut them down. Put them in here. Look at this. It's the same size as the, the cover. Look at it. Look, look, look. The only problem I have sometimes is getting it all the way in. But that is perfect. Look at that. I have my stickers in there. My little sloth. I think he's so cute. Look at that. So cute. And I have the stickers in here for that. I have the sloth paper. Or it came with the pack. It just says... What does it say? Because I know I put a sticker, didn't I? Oh no, that came with it. I thought I put that. But it says just relax. Some little zoo animals. Okay. So let's go back to the front so we can add in the last of what I want. Look at how the top looks. It's so cute. Can you see it? Because I know a few minutes ago you couldn't. A few seconds ago. Look at how cute that is. I love the cover. It still has Minnie Mouse. I mean, it still has Mickey. So it's not being taken away. It's just being added differently. Does make sense? Probably not. So we are going to add in the monthly calendars. I'm just going to add in one. But I'm going to add a few of them because it's going to be four. Well, actually, I should add six. And this can be like if you have certain things you need to do or whatever. Especially for household. Two, three, four, five, six. Ooh, that could be an idea. A household planner right in front. Should I show this? No, I don't think I should show this first. Is this the monthly first? Yeah, so I have to show this first. I thought it was like something you add your name to first, but no. This is chunky. So we added six of those because we have a six month planner. And then we could put this one away for the next six months. And then after that, I think I want to go in here. What's this divider? Actually, no, let's go into the back. Before we go into here, I'm just going to add a happy list. So just some extra sheets just to throw in here. I do it to all my planners. And yeah. Just thanks money. It's a lot, believe me. Especially when you cannot fold it in here. 
there you have it. So I have the extension pack for the productivity. I have the Happy Liz. That's the everyday. I have a mess that's about to fall. I have the calendar in here. It's going to work out perfectly. And the new cover for the mini mouse. Now I'm happy with the way this looks. So let's go over it one more time so we can close this video out. It is chunky. It will still get chunkier because why? You're going to put stickers. You're going to add to it. So this is going to be the front cover. It says love yourself from bow to toe. And then I just have this cute little one. And then this is changeable. So I can change these out. And this here, I added my name. Let me find the pack. Originally, I had these in there because it's black and white for Mickey Mouse. Then I changed it to this. And I have stickers for it. I have the cardboard that goes to this. And then this is the pack I was using for my name. It's the page kit. You can find it at Hobby Lobby. It's the Mickey Mouse and Friends. And there is the back cover. I don't know what it did the front cover. Oh, right there. Yeah. And then that's the back cover. But yeah, look how cute they are. They're very cute. And you got stickers. I don't think you get any die cuts. Oh, 28 die cuts. They're stickers to me. 148 stickers. I don't see the die cuts. Wherever the die cuts are, they're somewhere. Yeah. So that is that. So we have finish showing you. So you have that one. Again, these are the stickers that's going to go for the first six months. And then, do they have... I hate to take these out, but I probably will. Yeah, it has the Mickey Mouse ears for the days of the week. And then I'll do that later on. So you have your first six, uh, six months of the calendar. And again, that could be your household planning. Like you have a back sheet that you can do some information on. It says, welcome the unexpected. This is your January. And then this is what your month looks like. It has a bookmark. So it's Sunday start, Saturday end. You get into your first week, and this is where the Mickey Mouse ears will go for the date cover-up. This, I don't know why I have here. I should probably put this one out. Put it with my sticky notes, and then, not my sticky notes, my half sheets. And then put this one for the week. It makes more sense. So this is my weekly. Now, if I need daily planning, I have inserts for that as well. Okay, get in there. What's going on with you? Okay, there you go. So it's a neutral planner, as far as like the black and white is concerned. So there's no color in here, so that's perfect. The only color you're gonna see is the ones on your end, your back sheet. It says notes and big ideas, holidays, birthdays, and special events on the bottom. You have like a little to-do section you could probably do. And then here, if I don't stop bending these papers, here you have your next divider, which is February, March, super cute, April, simple, May, beautiful, and June. Once this is done, it'll probably go into... The Minnie Mouse, I'll take the covers off and then put it into the Minnie Mouse once it's done. The Minnie Mouse Happy Notes, I should say like that. And then next you have, and then this is the back of the last six months. The first six months, not the last. Or either six months you use it for. So the next one I have is Dream Until Your Dreams Come True. And then Leave a Trail of Magic Wherever You Go. It's just filler paper. 
The next one is leave a trail of magic wherever you go. Which kind of would have made sense to put this there. And the other one here. Because which one is the first one? This is the last one. I don't know where the first one's at. But we'll see. I might switch them out. Because I like that this one for the ears. For the bow. But I don't know. And then you have that one. Which is the next set of filler paper. And then you have... Maybe there was only two plus the dashboard. Plus the bookmark one. Could have been only two. Here is the happy list. That's where this is going to go. Because it makes more sense to have Mickey Mouse in front. Everything else in the back. So that is the happy list. Half sheets. Then your first divider for your productivity pack is Be Strong Than Your Excuses in rose gold beautiful and then today is a great day to learn something new and then this is the productivity pack once you're done with those you have be brave be kind be brave and kind that's your second divider i have this divider here this bookmark um shine bright i just think it's super cute even though the colors don't mesh together i was saying even though it does not matter you know it does kind of like not blend in good together, but it's still workable. So it says shine bright. My next divider, make waves. I love that pattern. I love the color scheme too. It's beautiful. And then it says embrace your own journey. Back here, I just have like the sloth stuff. I didn't add this stuff. This was already, I added this previously. So you got some sticky notes. And if anything doesn't work, I'll take out. Relax. Just relax. And then you just have filler paper. In the back you have your sloth folder with your little tropical state of mind. And then again the folder. And then here is where I added in the stickers for the productivity. So I have the stickers in the front, the stickers in the back. I don't have to worry about cutting them down. Trying to get them to fit in these little folders, things like that. So they perfectly fit. And then this is the back of the back cover. But this is going to be the mini Mouse cover that I'm using. There's the back of that. Simple. It just says the Happy Planner. It doesn't even say Disney on this one. Oh, it says it real little on the bottom. And then, again, the front cover, which is the Happy Notes. And then the front cover. So if you like this video, sorry it's long, please give it a big thumbs up, leave a comment, share the video, that'd be greatly appreciated. As always, thank you for watching. I'm going to put these sheets back into its package, put them back onto the shelf because I don't think I need them for any other planner. I think I have that one, that one, and this one. And then I have the mini. So yeah, so I don't need these anymore until it's time to use them up. So this will start January 1st, or well, I'll be starting January 1st for the 2020, but 2021, but because of the way the calendar ends for the weeks and how the planners are, you really won't be in your planner until the 4th of January, unless you put the week, that Friday week on this side, you know what I mean. So here is the productivity every day, the everyday paper for the monthly, and then your everyday happy list. And I don't know why they call it the everyday because it doesn't make any sense because none of them match. Look, these could match. No, because we got all these break colors. Oops, sorry. These probably would have matched with the first two, but the back is not. This one does not match. And then we have that pack. So again, thank you for watching. Sorry for moving you and sorry for the long video, but I just wanted you to see the setup video of this one. So the next videos you will see are going to be the actual planner lineup. Um, and I'll go into detail of how I'll be using each one. I still got to do a flip through of how I'm setting up my mini. Probably change the discs to maybe black because I'm kind of digging the black look. 
And yeah, I think we're all good. Aaron Condren, again, that's already on a spiral. Can't change that. I'm not trying to change that. That would be a mess. I'm not going to add anything else to it. I already did that video, so we're good. Just the Minnie Mouse. Uh, no, sorry, the Princess. Mini, uh, mini Happy Planner is the last one. And I already showed you the Skinny Classic and the Skinny Mini Budget. So, yeah. Thank you for watching. Talk to you in the next one. So, you'll be seeing again on the... I'll film it on the 28th. On the 29th, you will see the actual lineup for January 1st. Again, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.